Well, hey there, Grace Bible Church. Uh, as you guys know, this weekend is Easter weekend, and for most, it's a very special weekend. Um, for believers especially, it's uh, one of the most precious times of the year as we intentionally remember and contemplate and celebrate the death and resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I understand, I know our family is feeling the reality that many of the traditions and things that we've come to enjoy and practice each year are interrupted, disrupted because of COVID-19 and stay-at-home orders. And yet the reality that the things that we are celebrating in those traditions is unchanging and remains the same. And the fact that Jesus gave himself willingly as a ransom for all who would believe in him and the fact that he died and took the wrath and the punishment of God upon himself for all who would believe remains the same. And the reality that he rose from the grave, that he wasn't conquered by death, but that he himself conquered death and was raised from the dead and is now alive and ascended is truly wonderful and marvelous. And so while we can't be together this weekend physically to remember and rejoice and celebrate these things, we live in a unique time and, and we have the opportunity to be together in heart and mind virtually. And we are gonna have a good Friday service, uh, Friday evening at 7 p.m. where we will be looking at, at John, John's account of the crucifixion and just watching Jesus' death unfold through several scenes and remembering just the, the sober reality of what he endured upon the cross. And then we'll also be having a Easter morning service at 9 a.m., our normal service time, where we will sing together. Eric Martin is going to be leading uh, our young ones through a story, the story of Easter. And then Smed is actually going to be uh, preaching from God's Word, teaching us from God's Word on Easter morning. Uh, excited to have him back opening God's Word and, and bringing it for us this Sunday. So we're just excited for those things. We'd really love for you to join us in all of those things. Also, I wanted to take this time to, to inform you of a couple different resources that are available to you if you're not already aware. One is our elder blog, which the elders are going to seek to be communicating with you in ways that we can through either email blasts to the whole church, and we might have written communication or video blogs. You should have been receiving one every Friday. That's our plan. Just a general update of things happening in the church. You will undoubtedly receive more of those. But we also are posting on our elder blog on our website, which if you go to gbcaz.org, there is, I'm looking at it right now so that I can make sure I give you the most accurate information, there's actually a tab called blogs. So there's who we are, sermons, ministries, blogs. And if you click on that, you can click on elder blog. And from there, there's a number of different uh, just uh, posts from different elders. Omri has one, which is just absolutely wonderful on um, being worshipful and, and, and uh, in the midst of COVID-19. Uh, there's comfort from Psalm 46 for turbulent times. Omri posted that. There's uh, different blog posts from Jacob, uh, Thanksgiving filled prayer during the COVID-19 storm. And if you haven't read those, you need to. They're really helpful, encouraging uh, posts on just how to be shepherding our hearts during this time. There's actually also a way that you can subscribe uh, online to the blogs. If you click on one of them, it expands it. And then to the right in the blue box, there's a subscribe to the GBC blog. And that way you'll get notifications as we update that, or you can just visit our website when that's updated as well. The other thing I want to make you aware of is additional resources that we have available to you uh, in regards to podcasts. So many of you subscribe to our podcast, which is great. And uh, same thing if you go to our website, gbcaz.org, and click on the resources tab. This is highlighted in blue next to the Expositor Seminary, then it's Resources, Events, and then Give. So if you click on Resources and you just click on that and then scroll down, or if you highlight it, it might already pop down, you'll see Podcasts. You can click on Podcasts and then it'll bring up three different categories. In the past, we've had two. We've had Sermon Podcasts and Communion Message Podcasts. Uh, an additional one that we've recently added is Classes. So a podcast for the various classes at GBC. 
which will include some of our build and Wellspring lessons, equipping hour lessons, things like that. And so that's available to you as well. We're gonna try to keep communicating to you as, as much as we can uh, via our blog, emails, uh, videos like this one. And we just really want to be available once again in any way that we can to uh, serve you, to shepherd you, to care for you, to pray for you. So feel free to reach out to any of us at, at any point in time because we'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much. Have a great Easter celebration. Uh, look forward to rejoicing in the gospel and in our Savior together this weekend. And again, we hope you join us uh, via our live stream services.